Hello, and welcome to a double review for the Pop-Up Parade Simon and Kamina. So, this is the first of its kind, really. I don't think I've ever done a double review before, but uh, as you can kind of already tell, these these guys just go together so perfectly that I felt eh, it, it, was, it was the most appropriate thing. So what I'm going to do today is we'll take a look at each of them separately, obviously, to, um, you know, really take in each of the statues. And then we'll take a look at them as a pair, because they're clearly meant to be. So, before everything, we'll take a look at the packaging. So first we have Simon, or Simon. I'm going to call him Simon, that's just how he was referred to in the anime. Um, I'm sure in maybe the dub, he's Simon though. So he's kind of very blue themed, keep that in mind, that'll be uh, appropriate in a second. It is of course by Good Smile. It is the pop-up parade range, that's the bottom, in case you want to look at that. And the back has kind of red and blue and black and blue kind of themes there. Uh, and we've got Kamina, who is red themed. Uh, can, can, you, can, you see, can you see what's going on there? So again, pop-up parade, good smile, uh, pop-up parade, that's the bottom. And of course we have the back, which is red and blue and black themed. So. When you put them together, next to each other, you kind of get a cool duality. You've got the red and the blue, the kind of blue connecting them. Although, unfortunately, because the box of Simon is so much smaller than Kamina, it sort of, it doesn't quite feel like, you know, the, there's you never get a satisfactory kind of thing. I don't know, but you can't do anything about that, really. Um, and also on the back as well, it kind of syncs up with like the red and there's the blue and the black and stuff and altogether it's pretty cool um, and for those of you wondering as well there is a Yoko in the works there is a Yoko Papa parade coming out um, she's going to be a couple months I think so when I get that I will probably be you know bringing these guys out just to kind of compare but yeah so that that's it for the packaging and stuff uh, it's pretty minimal as Papa parade usually is so now I'm going to go and slice open some uh, cello tape and we'll take a look at the statues uh, individually as I mentioned at first and then we'll bring them together. So the first up will be Simon after this transition. Alright, I'm back and I've unwrapped him. So uh, Simon, obviously as you can tell I've dropped the camera quite a bit because he is quite a small figure. Um, even compared to the other pop-up parade figures I have, this is a good couple inches smaller but that is kind of appropriate as well. Obviously, if you've seen the anime, you know that Simon is quite small. He's quite short. It's is kind of part of his character in a sense. So I mean, it you know it it's appropriate. Also, this is you know Simon at the start of the series, not later on. So understandably, you know he is his youngest self. But obviously, it makes sense if he's appearing with Carmina. Anyway, I'll stop uh, alluding to plot things here. So we'll get on to the statues. It's very light, that's the first thing to keep in mind, but again, less materials. Uh, so the base, actually, I'm quite impressed with. It's the first pop-up parade base I have that's not red. Um, I don't know what it is, but the last three I've bought have all been red, and I kind of just assumed it was a red thing. I don't actually know what base Kamina comes with. I'm hoping maybe it's... I don't know, I was going to say red, but this is black, so maybe that's black as well. Anyway, as usual, we will start looking over the details. So, we've got his shoes um, with the kind of red stripes and stuff, and we've got his bandage socks. I don't know what it is, but I do kind of like the whole bandage aesthetics that anime characters have sometimes. I, I don't know why. And then moving up, we've got his legs, which are, you know, quite detailed and stuff. You can tell the musculature and everything. And then his shorts, of course which um, don't really have a texture on, but they do have a little bit of flow to them. You know, they look like they're a bit big on him, uh, especially around the back there, you can kind of tell it's creased a little bit and stuff, which is cool. And of course, up to the iconic belt, which uh, is more reminiscent of Kamina, of course, and big props. Um, I, I know it's not, it's, it's not a crazy detail, but like his belt buckle is shiny and metal. Uh, well, not... Obviously, it's not actually metal, but it's metallic looking, which is pretty cool. And, of course, on his torso, he's got some of the bandage wraps again, which Kamina has as well. Um, it's quite cute to see him 
kind of dress like his teammate. Uh, so we've got his uh, his fist there, and um, going up here, we've got his arm, and of course the red armband from Team Dai Guren. Uh, very nice. So we've got a bit of flow to the jacket as well. I I always love to see that. It's kind of you know flowing out to one side because he's raising an arm. And of course, on the back, we have the Team Dai Guren logo, which uh, I'm a big fan of. Man, that logo is so cool. Um, someone once told me it does look a lot like the Offsprings logo, uh, the band, but th this is cool. Uh, anyway, round to the front again, and we've got his face. So, as you can see here, he's kind of looking to the side there. Uh, this is what I was alluding to earlier. It's very obvious this is not really a figure you'd buy on its own. I mean, you could do. I'm sure there are Simon fans out there that just want Simon merch, but it's it's clearly meant to be he's on the right and his Aniki is to the left. So we've got his hair then. His hair is pretty nice, actually. It's sort of... Um, it has the right amount of detail and stuff. It's It's quite nice, honestly. And of course his goggles, which I've always kind of loved. The uh, the goggles kind of bring it all together because he's kind of got the blue and red aesthetic kind of thing going on. And yeah, that, that just looks pretty cool. And I like the little tufts of hair as well. They make him look, you know, like it's not just a bob. It sort of, it does look like hair itself. Uh, and then up here we've of course got uh, not an armband because they wear them on the left, I believe. But of course, there is the main thing, the thing everyone's here for, his drill uh, necklace, or or just a drill, I guess. So the hands, obviously, they're, I quite like the placement of them. They do look quite natural and stuff. Um, you know, it looks like he's holding something of weight. Maybe, if I'm really nitpicky, I'd have maybe like some green highlights on like the drill part, the like... Um, pattern that swirls around but I mean technically it only does that when it's plugged into the mech or when sort of he's he's emotional or something. Man it's been a while since I've seen Gurren Lagan I need to rewatch it but it is a nice little touch you do get the drill that will one day pierce the heavens so that's a nice little touch there. So we're gonna leave him there for now and I'm gonna do the same now to the Carmina statue so I'm going to go ahead and open him up and we'll take a detailed look at him and then, you know, we'll continue on. So, be right back after this transition. Okay, I am back with Carmina. So, um, this is a little bit more involved, uh, obviously. I will say I, I was a little bit uh, concerned for a second because the pegs for this foot and for this foot, I had to, like... Uh, bend the legs a little bit and push them further apart and it, it, it made me a little bit nervous. I mean, I've got faith in Good Small Company. I, I know it's not going to break or anything, but uh, I don't know. It just made me a little bit uh, apprehensive. So just a, a, just a you know, note, if you are going to buy this, uh, probably you may have to like separate the legs a little bit more, but it, it's fine. It'll fit. Anyway, so we have the same base as uh, Simon, and I think it's a little bit... No, I think it's the same size, actually. That's interesting. Cool, I, I thought they'd have made a smaller base for Simon because he's a smaller figure, but not the case. Anyway, let's begin looking in detail at Kamina. So he's got his sandals. That's one of his kind of traits. Uh, very nice. They, they look wooden and stuff. They've modelled his toes. So there we are, all you Kamina foot fetishists. I'm sure delighted. Uh, so we've got the bottom of the trousers, which have the like red stripes and stuff uh, going up then. We've got that iconic belt that uh, Simon also has. Although this one is purely just tied with like... Um, it's quite interesting actually. I just realised they've got um, the detailing of all the sort of... Uh, not holes, but like dips or rivets in... Um, Whatever it is he's using to tie his belt, really. It's got a bit of like a samurai look, you know, which I, I've always really dug. I think Simon is a really cool character. Simon? Kamina is a really cool character. Simon's pretty cool as well. He gets cooler in the series. 
And obviously, as I mentioned, there's that torso wrap as well. Uh, why he has that, I do not know. Uh, let's move over to his arm. He's also got that, that like arm wrap thing and uh, closed fist there. Very nice. Very again, proper parades detailing on like the human body is just incredible. And then we go up to his kind of sort of tribal tattoo or whatever. Um, don't think it's ever explained why he has these tattoos, but it's pretty cool there. Uh, you know, it's all modelled. It's it covered a little bit by the cape, but I'll, I'll leave that slide. Uh, and then we've got his torso. Again, really, really well, you know, sculpted and everything. Um, we look at the cape last, I think. So we've got the kind of chains i guess that kind of hold it together uh quite you know quite well done and stuff uh we've got his other hand of course which is sort of pointing towards the sky towards the heavens that uh they will ascend to one day and um, good lord do they uh so obviously he doesn't have a drill or anything now the face is an interesting one so we've got you know his sort of uh his cheeky grin his cheeky look up there at the uh at the at the hand he's holding towards the heavens, but also it does come with this piece, um, which comes with, of course, his iconic shades. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on now. So BRB. I'm I'm back just to show you. So this is actually quite oh good lord that's cursed. Uh, so this is quite easy to change really. It's got a small peg in there that goes in that hole. So obviously, when you want to put it back. You can just press it down like that. Uh, it takes a little bit of finesse. Don't be too rough with it, obviously, because it could snap. But it's easy enough to take off. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put the best piece on. All right, mission accomplished. Uh, can it really be a Kamina statue without his shades? Uh, I mean, it's just, they're, they're so iconic that honestly, it's a sin to not have them on. I was going to wait till the, um, like, the photo montage bit, but I thought, nah. Now, got to do it now. Um, obviously, big fan of the shades. They're translucent as they should be. Uh, they're kind of, they kind of reflect. There we go. They do reflect light, so you can get the uh, eye catch thing from uh, from the show. Uh, if you've seen it, you'll know. There's lots of eye catch moments. I think there's literally a montage on YouTube of all of them. Uh, they are glorious. So yeah, glad I am very glad that came with it. And honestly, it is a nice touch that you can have him without the shades. I don't, I don't really know why you'd want it, but eh, you know, people, people out there would prefer, I'm sure. So we've got his cape, and oh, good lord, like it's such a cool cape. The the words really do describe me on this. It's so. It's so, like, kind of over-the-top, but also cool at the same time. So we've got the Daiguren uh, logo, of course, on it. We've also got the kind of flame effect and just the ripped edges and everything. And you guys know me by now. I fucking love my capes. Uh, so the inside as well have kind of brown detailing, which I, I'm pretty sure it was in the show as well, I think. Um, and yeah, just to... Just to have this, man. So um, if you if you watch my stuff for a while, you will know I have the Nendroid of Kamina as well. Because uh, once I saw that was going up, I jumped on it. Kamina, honestly, is one of my favourite designed anime characters ever. Uh, I'm a big fan of Gurren Lagann. I, I just had to get this when I saw this coming out. And the fact that Simon was there as well, it's like, hey, I'll, I'll drop that extra money. I want I want the, fun, the full team. Uh, Kamina isn't really complete without his buddy. So there is there is the leader of Team Daiguren. Uh, right, so next up is the photo montage where I'm going to take some photos, obviously of both of them, uh, in different angles and stuff, just to show you guys more intricate details. And then we'll be back for a kind of wrap-up thing. So cue the music. Impossible, see the invisible, row, row, fight the power, touch the untouchable, break the unbreakable, row, row, fight the power, power to the peeps, power for the dreams, so missing peace, scattering so incomplete with me that was incredible soldier from underground, see how easy they all fall down, digging through the court to see the light, let's get out of here. 
All right, I am back. So, I hope you enjoyed those couple photos and stuff. I uh, I had quite a lot of fun taking photos of these two. Uh, I do realise I didn't get any photos with him without his shades on, but it's sacrilege to do so anyway, so it doesn't matter. Honestly, these... Uh, I, I'm just so happy I have them. Um, as I said, I... When I saw Kamina, I absolutely jumped on the pre-order. And when I saw Simon, I was like, yeah, I don't know, not really. I mean, he's cool, but, you know, I, I predict, to be honest, Kamina's going to sell a hell of a lot more than Simon. Just because he works great on his own or as a pair, whereas Simon really only works as a pair. But to be honest, I'm really happy I did get it now because he scales incredibly well with Kamina as well. Now, all Popper Parades kind of are in the same scale, to be honest. Uh, I mean, if you know if it's a character that's meant to be really massive or really small, they're going to be really massive or small. And obviously, heads and different things will change because there's you know different styles and different animes. But, to be honest, it's really nice to have two from the same series. And these just look great together. Now, as I said uh, at the start, Yoko is coming a uh, soon-ish, I think in like two months maybe. So when I get her, my display is going to be complete. Now, I do need to get a figure of Gurren Lagann, the uh, mech itself. However, those are incredibly expensive, so I'm kind of hoping there's some kind of premium pop-up parade. Because honestly, I'd love it in the scale of this. Well, I say in the scale of this. Obviously, if it was, it would be about like 20 feet high as a uh, as a robot thing but you know what I mean or something that would just work or even Simon's little um, head pod the like head of the um, Gurren Lagann now I know the Nendroid of Simon did come with that and I don't have the Nendroid of Simon just because it's a bit more expensive what I like about Papa Parade is they look incredible for the price point uh, I mean because they are good smile so you know they're not skimping on anything and yeah honestly I'm just kind of rambling now. Honestly, I'm really happy with these two. If if I really had to criticise, I would have liked Simon to come with... Bo is it Buta? I think the um, little naked mole rat pet he had. That would have been nice to kind of pop on the stand or something. Especially because, compared to Kamina, Simon just doesn't really come with anything, if you know what I mean. I mean... The plastic used for Simon is probably half that of Kamina. Now, admittedly, Kamina, a lot of the plastic's in the cape as well. But, I don't know. It would have been nice just to have a little bit extra, maybe. But, you know, I am nitpicking. I think, personally, if you're a big Gurren Lagann fan, I think it's worth picking up both of them. Now, I know you are paying double, you know, essentially, where you could just get Kamina. But I, th I think it looks really nice. I can't wait for the Yoko one. I'm going to try and set up a Gurren Lagann display, maybe. Have my Kamina Nendroid at the front, possibly. Stuff like that. But, I don't know. Uh, that That is just me. If and when I do do that, keep an eye on my social media. I'll probably be posting on like, Twitter or something a photo of my setup, if I do get around to doing that. And that about wraps it up, really. Thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you've picked up either of these. Um... Or, you know, what you're hoping for in the future and stuff. I would really like... I can't remember her name now. The blue... The girl with blue hair and yellow in it. My... No. Oh, God. Why can't I... It'll, it'll be at the bottom here. I can't remember her name. But uh be nice to have, you know, one of her as well, maybe. And maybe a pop-up, as I said, of Simon's uh, head mech and stuff. But yeah, that about wraps it up. I shall be doing more figure reviews soon. I have some pop-up parades that have just arrived, actually. So uh, stay tuned for those. I'll be doing some other videos about statues and stuff as well. If you are interested and you've not seen any of my other pop-up parade uh, reviews, along with other statue manufacturers, I'll leave like a playlist for my statue reviews up here. And I'll leave uh, YouTube choose a random one for you guys as well. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you again in the next video. So until next time... Row, row, fight the power.